What's going on YouTube? My name is Mustache and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at what my opinion on what's going to happen with the broken fan cases are after the operation. I do apologize for the lack of videos, however I did try to install some new RAM in my PC last week and uh, it ultimately just decided to brick itself so had to reinstall windows and everything uh, but I've got that all figured out now and uh, hopefully everything should uh, continue to be on time. Before we get into the video, I'd like to congratulate our giveaway winner for the AK-47 Phantom Disruptor Field Tested. Congratulations to Linus. I'm going to go ahead and respond to your comment on my other video. Uh, just please try to respond to that with your uh, Discord tag. Don't worry, I'll know it's you. We actually did have someone try to um, impersonate Sarktic last time around. Now with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So let's talk Broken Fan Case. The Operation Broken Fang case is obviously the case that was released along with uh, Operation Broken Fang, and it came with a new set of skins and a new set of gloves that we've never seen before. Now this is actually only the fourth case to contain gloves in all of CSGO. I do think this case has a lot of potential, assuming that it's going to follow the same trend that the Operation Shattered Web cases did, in the case that they don't continue dropping these once the operation ends. If we take a look at the Operation Shattered Web graphs, the day that the operation ended, March 31st, is the initial spike, and then only a couple months later, they spiked even higher. Unfortunately, I didn't get the footage of this, but if you go to a more recent timeline of this case, you can actually see it's gone down quite a bit due to the fracture case being released with the same knives. Now, do I think these broken fang cases are going to be a good investment? My answer is yes. Probably the best time to sell them is actually going to be the day that the operation ends, very similar to Shattered Web because, again, granted they follow the same format in which they're not going to continue dropping these cases past the operation as they are operation specific, that's probably the day that it's going to increase the most, and it's the day that you can guarantee yourself the most profit. However, if you want to hold on to the cases for a while and wait to see what Valve releases next, as we're really not sure what could be in the next case after this, that might actually end up making this a good long-term investment. But the main thing that could ever make the price of this case drop is going to be another case being released with the same set of gloves. I really think this case has some solid options no matter what rarity. Um, if you look at the Op Exoskeleton, the M4A4 Cybersecurity, the Glock Neonar, or the M4A1S Print Stream. This case has a ton of potential to do extremely well, granted there's not another case with the same set of gloves dropped anytime soon. I've actually personally invested into these cases, and I'm honestly excited to see what they end up doing in the future. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, I just wanted to make this short little video with my take on what's going to happen with these cases and uh, of course announce that giveaway winner. Um, once again, I have set up my community discord, so if you'd like to join, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link in the description to that. I do have a lot of content planned out for you guys over the next few weeks, so I'm actually pretty excited to continue working on these videos and putting them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed this content, please like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends to help me grow my channel. Once again, I really appreciate all of my recent support. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.